Hey guys, I'm back with another video and I want to discuss a little bit about the rumor uh, recently about the NX possibly having an ARM architecture and not an x86 architecture. So basically, I'm going to say right now that, you know, it's been going back and forth. Will the NX have an ARM or an x86 for the CPU? So I've, I've given a lot of thought and research on this topic and I've come to the conclusion that I firmly believe that the NX will actually have an x86 architecture, even though uh, it was recently reported or rumored that it will not have an x86 architecture. So here are my reasons though, and here why I think this is logically uh, the case for the NX to have an x86 and not an ARM architecture, okay? Basically, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC all use x86 architecture, right? Now, granted, that's not, uh, you know, the only reason why the NX should have an x86. The reasoning, though, uh, is what I'm going to talk about right now, is that you have a lot of these third-party games that use their own custom-made game engines. I'm going to tell you just a few of them right now to give you an idea. Uh, the Division uses its own proprietary game engine. The Witcher 3 uses its own engine. The upcoming Final Fantasy 15 uses its own engine. Not a licensed engine from a, another company that makes engines. Like Unreal Engine 4, for example, is being used for Final Fantasy 7 Remake. Unreal Engine 4 and Unity are... Engines that are used by a lot of uh, different games coming out, that's true. However, a lot of these uh, new games being developed, and usually they look really, really good, like The Witcher 3 and Final Fantasy XV, are using their own proprietary custom-made engines, okay? And what are those engines being made for? They're being made for x86 architecture, right? If the Nintendo NX had an ARM processor for its CPU, developers would not just be able to simply recode and port over those games for the ARM architecture. It is because a lot of these AAA games use thousands and thousands of lines of code that they are using to develop for these AAA games. Now, during that process of coding for these games, they have to optimize the games to run on those consoles or PC that are using x86. So if the Nintendo NX had an ARM processor, these ports that Nintendo so desperately wants to be on the NX, like these AAA games like The Witcher 3 and things like that, they would not only need to be recoded, but also be re-optimized from the ground up for the Nintendo NX if it had an ARM processor, okay? Now, ARM processors are not difficult to develop for, that is true. However, the time it takes to optimize a AAA game that is running extremely high graphical uh, properties and effects will take longer to port on the Nintendo NX if it runs an ARM processor than if it runs an x86 processor because they are completely different architectures, okay? So that is why I highly doubt Nintendo is going to be using an ARM processor for the Nintendo NX home console. Okay, I think they are going to be using x86 for the simple case that the games were already rumored and talked about earlier this year as being extremely easy to port over. Now, if we're just talking about Unreal Engine 4 and Unity games, then uh, yeah, ARM processor will not make a difference compared to x86. But these proprietary engines made from the ground up, built first on x86 will definitely, definitely need to be re-optimized from scratch and recoded from scratch for them to work on the NX if it runs an ARM processor. So the, the point I'm trying to make is, is that why would developers jump on board the Nintendo NX for the console if it runs an ARM processor? And why would they want to port these games over to the console if it's going to require them to re-optimize from scratch and recode from scratch and basically take longer and more effort to port these games over than they would be if it was x86. 
I'm not saying it's not uh, super difficult for them to do that. It's just time consuming, right? The game development costs money. AAA game development costs money and time and effort, regardless, you know, if it's easy technically or not. It's still basically a, making a new game on a new system from scratch. You have the graphics card and all that stuff will run it, you know, will help run out everything, but the architecture of the CPU being completely different will need to be recoded for that CPU to communicate with the GPU. It's just a matter of how game development works. So granted, say, um, what is it? CD Projekt wants to release The Witcher 3 on the Nintendo NX. They want to port that over with an ARM architecture, right? It's going to take them um, a little bit longer in the porting process because they're going to have to re-optimize that code from scratch. And they're going to have to um, make the game run with that different architecture. If the Nintendo NX was x86, that architecture problem would already be solved and the coding problem would already be solved. All they would have to do would be optimize the uh, game to run smoother or have better performance on the Nintendo NX than it would have on the other consoles. You see what I'm saying? So no matter which way you cut it, having an ARM processor for the NX would require more work on third-party developers for certain games, okay? Basic games, you know, like these side-scrolling indie games and games that run Unreal Engine 4 and Unity games, those games would probably have no problem uh, being ported over. It's these huge custom-made games that use their own engine because the developer is looking for specific graphical effects they want to achieve in that specific game. Those are the games that will take extra amount of time to develop and optimize for an ARM architecture on the Nintendo NX, if it has it. So. That is my argument against why the NX would be using an ARM architecture. I believe the NX will use x86 because Nintendo wants to have all the games be able to be ported over to the NX with no problem. And that would definitely allow them to do that. What about the ARM processor though? Well, I do think Nintendo could easily have the ARM processor on the Nintendo NX handheld because research has shown that porting up from ARM architecture is a lot easier than porting down from x86 to ARM. Not impossible, but more difficult. So you may be asking yourself or saying to yourself, well, wouldn't Nintendo just say, you know, screw the third parties. We want to do our own thing and make ARM processors on our console and our handheld because we want to have those cross-platform games, you know, be really easy to port for ourselves. I don't think Nintendo is thinking that, honestly. I think they have changed their mindset because they know that third party is not going to be want wanting to jump on board the Nintendo NX if it doesn't have the type of architecture that they want to use to, to develop their games on. Everyone else in the consoles and PC is using x86 architecture. But my opinion on the NX handheld would be that not all these AAA games, these ports, from Xbox One and PlayStation 4 and PC would automatically be able to be running on the NX handheld. I mean, think about it, guys. They wouldn't be able to be running on it anyway. So why would Nintendo make their console ARM-based as well when they could easily make it x86 to get all those ports from the console and still be able to get ports from the handheld because porting up, like I said, is a lot easier than porting down. Porting up from ARM to x86 is a lot easier than porting down. It's it's a proven fact. You can go research it and see for yourself. So it's a great reason, if you look at it logically, why Nintendo would use an ARM processor in the Nintendo NX handheld and x86 processor for the console. I firmly believe that Nintendo will not get third-party support for these big, big games if they do not have x86 architecture in the NX console. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Does that make sense to you? And what do you think? Will it be x86 or will it be ARM for the NX console? I think we can all agree the handheld would be something ARM based. So uh, thanks again for listening. Hit that like button if you enjoyed this video and comment and subscribe. And I'll talk to you guys very soon on the next video. Take care.